Well, it must be Tuesday again. The Blue Angels are out. Welcome to Sailing Vessel Seeker here in sunny Pensacola, Florida, where we're getting entertained by the Blue Angels. They draw plenty of spectators. All the locals come out about this time of day. And I'm waiting on parts for the autopilot, so it's time to clean the hull. It's something that uh, rattles me a little bit. You know, I don't mind diving in the hull when I've got uh, Brandon and Andy down there with me too. I figure if a shark comes along, I only got a one in three chance, right? And if I get hit, then uh, I got somebody to pull me out, but doing it alone, And you gotta appreciate the support of friends like uh, Betsy and Charlie who start sending you articles about uh, divers cleaning their boats that have been hit by sharks and uh, all of the uh, black tip sharks that are currently migrating off the Florida coast here. It's quite a sight. And it's uh, something that stays in the back of your head. So I gotta get used to that. You know, best thing to do, you gotta face it. Whatever that little thing is that bothers you, gotta do it. So here it goes. Time to get in the water. Good fish are here. <laughs> the anti-fouling we're using is a PPG product. It's called ABC3. And it has a quality that I just love about it in that you don't have to put the boat in the water right after you put the uh, anti-fouling on. Uh, the anti-fouling was actually put on about three years ago. And it was almost two years before the boat went into the water. Now we have a whole video series on the coatings that went on to Seeker, but to shorten it down, we sandblasted the hull, we put a cold galvanizing coat on, we put a couple of coats of uh, water barrier paint, which is a Marilock too, and then we put coal tar on, a couple coats of that. And PPG's recommendation for their uh, ABC3 product was to put a fresh coat of coal tar on, and then put the ABC3 on while that coal tar layer was still curing so that they would cross-link and that's what we did and so when you see the hull a couple of years later you can see where the coal tar has actually bled through the uh, ABC3 product but uh, that doesn't seem to have affected its uh, performance in water and it's been about uh, 14 months now in the water about half of that in fresh and half of that in salt and uh, so far I like what it's doing now they claim it'll last 10 years and i'm not so sure about that it's a hard anti-fouling it doesn't blade really easy so when i run the scraping blade across it you know i see some of that red tinge come off so i know that it's blading a little bit now i have had a few areas where the ppg product did come off but i think what my problem was there is i put it on too heavy now where you see the problem spots on the hull that's because uh, there's no more anti-fouling there and that's not the fault of the anti-fouling uh, we ran aground in the Mississippi uh, well actually we've been aground several times but the worst one was in the Mississippi and you know that tore all the anti-fouling off the side of the keel here especially where I have all these anemones growing on the hull at least I, I think they're anemones but anyway that that side of the hull that uh, that starboard keel edge we rubbed off all the anti-fouling I'm surprised we didn't rub off the coal tar and everything else too but it seems like we still have paint on the, most of those areas it's uh it's a not a pretty sight when you don't have anti-fouling i can get in the water every week or so and take the chisel down and uh, clean the barnacles from that area and inside of the prop shroud that's the same issue you know sitting there we were running the prop trying to push off that sandbar and eventually got off of it but you know, during that time, we basically sandblasted the inside of the prop shroud and uh, the side of the rudder. So where the product is still on the boat, seems to be doing really well. Now the fouling on the propeller blades has been a horrible problem for us. This is what it looks like after three months of not doing anything to them. And that took a lot of scraping to get it off. So we decided we're going to use anti-fouling on the prop blades. Getting ready to put Velox Plus uh, primer and anti-fouling on the blades. They've already been sanded with a 60 grit uh, orbital sander to give them a profile. Now they get cleaned up really good with acetone. Even where I might touch them, have my fingerprints on. Let that flash off, we'll be ready to put the primer on. Baby puke green. They want a thin coat. So primer dried three hours this is the first of two coats three hours apart on them too they say put it on thin first one goes up and down second one goes side to side don't go back over it too much because this apparently softens up that primer coat too the second coat of the anti-fouling is the most difficult I think is 
it's hard to see black on black. And again, you don't want to go over it too much. It softens up the layer below it. So then we installed the blades. Man, they're doing pretty good. It's, they've been in the water for a month now and they have a little bit of barnacle growth on them. The problem I see is don't scrape them with a chisel to get the little barnacles off. You'll scratch the uh, anti-fouling off easily. The best thing to do is uh, use your fingernails and uh, I also learned a rag works pretty good at pulling the barnacles off. But the worst thing is, is we're losing some of the anti-fouling right off the blade, mainly out of the tips where it um, must have come off while it was running. There's nothing that's been in there that's hit it. So that just has to be coming off and we haven't run these blades a lot. We've only been doing maybe an hour or so of engine time on these blades in the past month. But you can see it's pretty extensive where it's come off. I'm not happy about that. So I decided, you know, I'll, I'll try a little experiment here. I, I've got uh, Never Seize. It has copper in it. And so I tried uh, rubbing some of that into the blade. I think I got some transferred to it, so it might help, but uh, not a lot. I'm not uh, uh, real uh, confident that that's going to be a solution. But, you know, I fear something's better than nothing. down there they're entertaining they like what I'm doing too feeding them and I've just been washing them out of my ears but Andy bought plugs and he got me a set too so yeah <laughs> earplugs and they really do work good look there's a bug right on the outside of them yeah I don't feel anything crawling around in there this time <laughs> I like it when the fish are around but when they all dart away at the same time I'm wondering what did they see I hope it's a dolphin, right? It's a dolphin, isn't it?